Okay, so in the previous discussion, we were able to um, see when and how we use binomial cumulative distribution function, right? Essentially, it's when we want a sum of values. Um, so binomial PDF could be used repeatedly to give me probabilities of maybe that one. Use it again, I could get that one, use it that one. Um, but if I want to answer a question such as what's the probability of having five girls but two or I mean five kids, right? But two or fewer girls, then I'm going to have to do a sum. If I'm having two or fewer girls, it means I could have zero or one or two, right? And so I would need a sum, and I could do it individually, where I repeatedly use binomial PDF, binomial PDF, um, binomial PDF. Um, so I could certainly just continue to use binomial PDF and have it calculate those individually. Easier than that, though, would be to use binomial CDF, which will give me a sum of, of binomial PDF values up to a point. So it will calculate all of those and give me a sum. So let's do a couple more examples that use binomial CDF. For example, um, the question that was there before was what's the probability of having um, two or fewer? What if I change this so that I say what's the probability of having less than two? Right, so let's go down here and look at that. Um, the probability of having less than two girls is not the same thing as saying or asking the question of what's the probability of having two or fewer. Because um, all of the possibilities available to us, if we were to have five kids, if we're just looking at the set of successes, um, we could have either zero, no girls out of the five, one, two, three, four, right? Those six different options are available to us when having five kids, where each one of these represents the number of girls. Um, whenever we're working with the inequalities, you might find it helpful to consider splitting this region up. So if we are looking at the probability of having, um, like we just did with the probability of having in a previous lecture, uh, two or fewer, if you draw a line here and you look to the left and right, less than or equal to two, and if you look at this, are these values less than or equal to two? And you'd say yes. Now if I go to this one, less than two, like what's the probability of having fewer than two? So if I draw this line, then it makes sense that these values are all fewer or less than two. But this two doesn't necessarily tell us where to stop. So this breaks the logic here. This is not a set of values less than two or a subset. So we want to make sure that we're consistent. So we've seen how to do this one, and I think this one we came up with a value of, what, 0.463? Yeah. Um, now we're going to look at this one here and, and see what that value is. I know that previously we were able to do some um, exploration with a binome um, PDF to gen and have them generate multiple values. So I know that um, probability of having less than two girls will be the probability of having zero or one. So my initial look at that tells me it's going to be around, what is it, about 14 cents and about two cents. Um, so something close to, um, to 16, about 0.16 is what that looks like if you do a quick calculation. So the 0.14 and the 0.02 is going to be about 0.16. Let's see, so let's look at that in detail. 
So the probability of having two or fewer um, is going to be the probability of having zero plus the probability of having one. And we know where to stop. Two or fewer does not, in, well, not two, less than two. Less than two does not include two. So I want to sum starting from zero. And any time I'm working on this left side of this kind of split, I'm starting from zero. My um, binome CDF will give me that sum starting from zero. All I need to do is put in the one point that tells me when to stop. So the binome CDF always assumes or always takes zero as the starting point. So this one is just going to be um, binome CDF cumulative. Again, we're going to have five trials, five, five girls, 0.52, and that's going to be, in this case, the stopping point, which is a one. And so let's plug that into our calculator and see what we get out of that. So let's go binome CDF. So let's go second entry. And this time we're going to use binome CDF with a stopping point of 1. And that gives us 0.163. Um, that's the value that we were expecting, right on the order of um, 0.16. Um, so that is consistent with what we looking at before. So let's put that in there. And that's 0 0.163. So this gets a little bit more interesting if we look at um, another example where we want to know what's the probability of having not less than 2 um, but the probability of having, um, let's say, three. It can be equal to three or more. So instead of less than two, we want to know what's the probability of having three or more. So this is the same as saying, what's the probability out of the five kids that we would have three or four or five girls out of the five kids. So again, recall that our options were we could have um, one, two, three, four, five. We could have this many number, or this, this number, we could have this number of girls. We could have zero girls, one, two, three, four, five girls out of the five kids. Um, so when we looked at the previous one, um, less than two corresponded to that. Less than or equal to 2 corresponded to that. But here now we're looking at the probability of having 3 or more. So if we once again draw this split and we look at 3 or more, that corresponds to this subset. Now, um, we still need to get this summation. And we could do this using binome PDF. And I know that if I go back to my list, five, four, three, four, or five, it's going to be right around um, 0 0.32 plus 0 0.17. What is that, 49 plus three? It's going to be around 52% if we were to sum up those probabilities. Um, so I can do that and sum up the probabilities. But let's think about it like this. If this is event A, where we have three or more, the opposite of that is over here off to the left. So the probability of event A equals 1 minus the probability 
um, of his opposite or his complement. And that one I can figure out because binom CDF will always give the, give us the value summing up from 0 to that final number. So 5 and the point 5, 2, but that final value that we're stopping at here is a 2. Um, so I could not have used binom CDF and by trying to put in a 5 because that would give us a sum from 0 up to 5. So binom CDF always wants to start his summation starting from 0. So I can't just simply try to expect binom CDF to ever give me something like this. It always has to start a summation or accumulate, uh, start accumulating from 0. So what I'll do is I'll subtract um, everything over here on the left side um, from 1. And let's go ahead and see what that gives us. Um, so I'll say 1 minus, and we'll go to second distribution, and it's a binom CDF. same number of trials, same probability of a success, but then we're stopping our summation up, uh, we're going up until, the, the, until 2, so it's 1 minus that, and we anticipated it being right around 53%, and it is, it's a point, point 0.537, so close to 54%. So this is 0 0.537. Um, now, if you remember, if that's 0.537 right here, we did do this one before, um, where we took it from 0 all the way up to 2. From 0 all the way up to 2 was something we did early on, where we came up with 46.3%. Um, so previously, we were able to get this one as um, 46.3. And then over here, we just calculated as being 53.7. And if you add those two up together, certainly you'll end up with 100% um, of all of the possible options, right? And that should make sense, the probability, if you have five kids, it probability of having zero girls, one girl, two, three, four, or five, that has to be 100%. So that's how we can use binomial CDF to get um, summations for a, a right, uh, right pointing inequality where we're looking at greater than or greater than or equal to. Um, a slight modification on this might be, um, let's say, what's the probability example, what's the probability of getting, um, selecting or in, of having possibly more than three girls, right? Out of five attempts, what's the probability of having more than three? Go back to our set. List the, um, out of the five kids, list the number of girls you could have. One, two, three, four, and five, uh, including zero probability of having more than three. Just ask yourself which values are more than three. That's a four or five. Um, and so the answer for this one would be either summing up with binom PDF that plus that, or just saying one minus the sum of those probabilities, one minus binomial CDF Again, the 5 and the 0.52, but then we're always going to use um, the stopping point. And so that would be our 3. 
see if I can get this to uh, turn that guy into. So we're going to use this as the stopping point. And so this would be a three. Um, before I plug it into my calculator, remember it's just a summation of zero, one, two, or three. I don't think. 0, 1, 2, or 3. We have not done that one yet, but if I look at the list, um, 0, 1, 2, or 3 would be the summation. So 0, 1, 2, or 3. Um, that's about 60.6, 0 0.73, 0 0.75. So it looks like it's about 0 0.75 if I sum up those values from 0, 1, 2, or 3, right around 0.75. So let's plug this into our calculator and see what we get. Um, one minus that. One minus that. Let's go for it and see what we end up with. Um, one minus binome CDF, then stopping at three. So let's just do second entry and recall the previous entry, allowing us to just simply change one value rather easily. And we get 0.213. So 0.213 is the final answer that we get for this. And let's see if that makes sense. Go back to the summation here. Grab him. Pull him down. Let's see if I can copy and paste it. So the probability of having um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 would be the um, 4 or 5. So 0 0.8 and 0.4 is about 0 0.8, 0 0.175 and 0.038 is going to give us our 0.213. So that works. Um, and over here was our 0.7, um, 9 and some change, I think. And this was our 0.21, the two together gives us 100%. Um, so that makes sense from summing it here or from taking the shortcut that, um, that, that binome CDF will do um, for us.